The KwaZulu-Natal government has launched an initiative to expose pupils to the fourth industrial revolution at a younger age. Now, the revolution is the new chapter in human development driven by rapid technological advancements. The new mobile analytics skills lab is hoped to set kids on a better footing in preparation for the working world. But is prioritizing this technology the right move? As schools in that province lack even the most basic of infrastructure and teaching resources. ENCA's Latiwi Mbluli reports. Government says these labs will help pupils develop skills and entrepreneurial sharpness to become part of the digital economy of the future. KwaZulu Natal Premier Nomu Setube Ngube launched the Mobile Digital Analytics Skills Laboratories at Orient Heights Primary School in Pittsburgh. Most schools in the province are in rural areas and lack basic infrastructure. But the Premier says solar power will address much of these challenges. It works with the solar, um, so there's no need uh, for electricity. Um, as you say, that many of our schools do not have infrastructure. The one good thing here as well is that we're using um, satellite or microwave where we are connecting the school from directly from that microwave, which also uh, bridges the, the issue of infrastructure. But that doesn't address the country's broader education crisis, both in terms of infrastructure and practical learning. Many schools in the province can't even access water. The question now is whether it's sensible to be prioritizing this technology amid such a landscape. Teachers Union Satu has welcomed the initiative, but is worried about the many existing issues like a lack of infrastructure, including classrooms. Once that initiative is welcomed and congratulated the department, but what is more important is how do they support or intend to support that initiative in terms of ensuring that uh, in terms of access, all learners will have access to it, both uh, learners in rural areas and, uh, and urban, but most importantly will be the issue of, um, of, of the infrastructure again in, in, in all areas so that it becomes a choice of the learner to take or not to take. It must not be based on the geographical location of the learner, whether you take it or not. Satu says government needs to weigh all the challenges before introducing these kinds of initiatives. It's very concerning. We know that uh, the department or the government is, uh, is saying they will be relying more on solar. Has that initiative started in terms of installing solar in all areas and where will the solar be installed? So we as SATU, we welcome the initiative, but we are saying here are the challenges that the department, when they are launching, they must be able to marry these two to say, here is the initiative, here is the support for this initiative in terms of infrastructure uh, to ensure that uh, access is, is, is for everyone. Despite the skepticism, government says it hopes their bold plan will make KwaZulu Natal an economic and technology powerhouse. Leti Wimluli, Pizza Maritzburg.